trip, but truth is Girl, the way you cook a steak uh, Remind me of them strips on roof crisps You love my smile, no matter how chip my tooth is It's you, it ain't because my whips is ruthless So sit on chrome, dip the deuces And you ain't flat it, canary and VS dip They suces, cover ballers look dumb when they press you Fives and sixes, you don't let them count the numbers and press you Even though I was so successful Me and a player was becoming too stressful But every since, the superwoman has come to my rescue My winners been wonderful, my summer's been special the same bar while the villa be painted Just so we can get really acquainted The love is real, there's no way you can feel like it's tainted But I can't really explain it uh, Yeah. Alright, now that I'm warmed up and I've got your attention I want to talk about money, okay? There's two things that we need when we travel One is time, which I've got plenty of now that I'm unemployed And the other is money now, with no income, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm what you call the travel, uh, budget traveler, and I want to save as much money as I can on my travels. I don't want to be unnecessarily losing money. Okay, and the other common thing that, you know, I was worried about, um, a lot of people are worried about is, how much money do I bring? And, you know, do I bring... A big wad of cash that I stick in my pocket, you know, with all the uh, concerns about pickpockets out there. Uh, do I bring a bunch of traveler's checks? I don't think I've ever used a traveler's check in my life, okay? And so I did a lot of reading, a lot of traveler's forums, seeing what other savvy travelers are doing, and I found two great things. The two things that people are, are carrying on them is not a lot of cash or traveler's checks, but, you know, you carry your credit card um, and the problem is with credit cards is a lot of your credit cards will charge you if you're overseas they'll charge you an international fee on top of every transaction you make it could be anywhere from two to three percent which you know may not sound like a lot but you know if you're spending five hundred you know six hundred dollars it can add up okay so I found one credit card that you can apply for which doesn't charge any international fees okay it's the Capital One No Hassle Rewards Card. So not only are you not incurring these stupid fees when you're overseas, but you know, you're earning points on future travel. Okay, and if you get, what I got was the uh, Capital One Professional Card. I don't know if you can see it there. And on that card, um, you know, you can get, for every dollar you spend, you can get two points. So you're getting you know, double the points over other cards. Okay, so... If you want a credit card that doesn't charge you any international fees every time you use it, get the Capital One card. All right. And the other thing is, instead of carrying a lot of cash, use your ATM card. You know, they have ATMs everywhere now. And uh, again, you're going to be charged these ATM fees. And there is a card, just like the Capital One card for your ATM card. There is a card that will charge you no fees. Actually. You can incur the fees, they will reimburse you any ATM fees. So you can use it here where you live, and when you travel, you can use it domestic, international, doesn't matter. You incur any ATM fees, they'll reimburse you, okay? And that is the Charles Charles Schwab Bank card, okay? Now I know it. You go to Schwab.com, it's a brokerage firm, okay? You don't have to have a brokerage account. What happens is you open this checking account and they'll automatically open up a brokerage account for you, which you may choose to use or not use. Okay? But the point is you get this checking account, you get the ATM card, use it anywhere you want, and you won't be charged any ATM fees. So those are my two money saving tips for traveling for today. Is you know you want to save every dollar and make a stretch. You know, the US dollar is really weak, especially in like Europe. When I went to Europe I couldn't I could never afford to even eat in a proper restaurant. I was eating at their equivalent of 7-Eleven, just little snacks here and there. So every dollar counts, and you want to stretch it out, get these two cards. All right, if uh, anyone else has any other money-saving tips, I'd love to hear them. So, uh, you know, let me know. And happy traveling. Thank you. Yeah.